Hi, welcome to episode nine of Here's the Deal. I'm Justine. I'm Troy. I'm, and I'm Daniel. Daniel. Okay. And I'm Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> no, I'm Dirty Dan. Apparently, I'm not Dirty Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the situation. Dude. I guess. Well, uh, what? what are we going to talk about this week? I don't know, Dan. What do you want to talk about? You've got all the topics this I week. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Well, let's, no, you let's start up. off. Let's start off since uh, the good old Republican debate. What's your was, deal, Dan? Wait, um, wait when was last deb- night? What? I missed it. No, it was Wednesday. I'm I was like, sorry. I don't believe I, I saw it? Twitter. Yeah, oh, it was Wednesday. Wait. Was that when Donald Trump made fun of like Car- Carly Fiorina's face? Probably. He's like, look at her face. It's really yeah, funny. Yeah, probably. He made a lot of weird faces, <laughs> and I keep seeing them on Vine. But it's uh, like the only thing that came out of that was <laughs> we have a selection of Donald Trump's weird faces. The um, the reason I bring that up, and it's not directly related, uh, but there's a uh, a woman in Oregon. She's an artist, and she said that she used her menstrual blood to paint an image of Donald Trump, which is pretty hilarious. And she's going to sell it. And she's also going to sell, she's going to sell the original. What an uh, artiste. She's going to like auction it off. And she's also going to make like prints that you can buy for $20. So you can buy menstrual blood, um, Donald Trump for $20 pop. I thought you said prints, not prints. So did I. I Speaking like, of Prince, what, oh, what Prince. Prince got to do with this? I was watching Aladdin earlier, and Jafar, like the big bad guy, yeah, definitely is Prince. Like, look up a picture of him. You mean? Oh, he looks like it. Uh, no. Oh yeah, yeah. He Prince does. is the voice actor for Jafar. Yeah. He could be, and I would think it was an episode of Scooby Doo or something like where Prince was <laughs> making a cameo. Does Prince make a cameo in Scooby Doo? No. Mm-hmm. So John Cena. <laughs> John Cena oh did. So oh, um, it's all really oh my good. god. John Cena oh. video the other day. Which one did you see? The one with the girl. Oh, like yeah, I saw that her one bra, today. I saw that one today. Right <laughs> before it goes down where you'd see something, it just goes, John Cena! Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I It's like, saw dang it, they made it all the way to Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. Dude, I know, I saw an image today that was like, it's like a Pornhub, like, webpage, and it just, it has a dude sitting at a desk, and the title is, Hot brunette explains, ec- like economic industry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can learn on this website. Nice. I was like, oh man, that'd be, that'd be pretty fucking sweet. I assume it has like a bunch of thumbs downs or whatever, like just voting. Right. And like this is no sex. It's just a <laughs> dude teaching me stuff. Has like a three percent rating or whatever. On Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pornhub tonight. Tomatoes, <laughs> porn tomatoes. A quick, uh, porn tomatoes. a quick U-turn back to this painting. I forgot to mention that the the reason she made it was, um, in response to his uh, like comments about um, the Fox News anchor that did the first. Like I think either sh- was she the um, like a moderator for the first yeah. one. The blonde that Megan, girl. Megan, yeah, uh, Megan Kelly. So that's why she did it because he said like, "There's blood coming out of her, whatever." Or yeah, whatever. here's something here's like the that. thing. So and he's an idiot. I've got a but. question for you guys. As a man, I cannot menstruate. <laughs> Good job, Troy. So, um, if I were to go about doing this, how do you think I would get enough blood to paint with? Like we just had to open up mean? an arm Find or something? Find a woman yeah. who's menstruating. No, it's got to be my blood, right? You could just cut your arm open and like bleed out for a while. You know you only lose myself? like something crazy like three tablespoons of blood when you're menstruating? I guess and that's enough you guys, to paint with? You guys really don't have much of a reference, but as a woman, like it just goes on forever. Like how is that only three tablespoons? I don't know. I'm going to look it up now. That is weird. I feel like there would be a lot more blood. Right? I don't know. I feel like I heard it just I was reading on Reddit and it someone shit, how did they describe it? It was like they just said it's like a constant like 
wetness. You just put during like a, it. Wait, are you talking about periods still? Yeah. Are you just, you just put a cup down there to collect it? It's like a drip pan? Uh, Troy, do you know what a tampon is? That's what the point of a Six, tampon is. 60 so, to 80 milliliters. How much is that? So, Dan, what you're saying Not is... Not a lot. She collected all the blood Less in that tampon and then what? Like, wringed it out into a bucket? Okay, let me look further I'm into not, this. I'm not asking I, what they do on an average day. Are I'm you... Asking oh, how, this, like, this how lady. Did, how did she get all that blood? Oh, okay. Like, I was like, um, okay, she okay, hold on. Let me, s- let me just figure out what her name is. Okay, da, da, da. Five okay. and a half tablespoons. That's not very much. Okay, so this uh, painter's name is Sarah Levy. Also known as Just Picasso. for reference. And she, she um, okay, she is more abstract. She used her Andrew. own menstrual blood, a paintbrush, and a tampon to make the painting. Here's a question I have. So I guess she just got it out of there and started. If you know what you're doing, painting. you can you can probably make some. How I want to see a picture faster. of it. Here's I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. That's like that's like all the blood that comes out, and that's like once a month, right? Sure. Yeah, Justine's nodding her head. Yes. How long does that last? Like, how long can I paint for using blood? You probably have to do it pretty quick, or it's gonna dry up. It starts to get like um. Not menstrual blood, but all blood starts to get a weird like consistency when it sits out. If you don't like put it on coagulates. ice, yeah. Like, if you put it on ice, it can last pretty much forever. Oh, maybe oh, that's what okay. she did. Because I mean, look at the Red Cross, like all the blood that they have. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah, I that's was thinking true. maybe it's like there a, you go, Troy. Just go rob the red <laughs> the Red Cross. Good idea. That's true. No, it's artistic because it's not my blood. You could just. Um, I just thought maybe it was like a fresco where you like it comes out and then you got like an hour to paint the picture. She might have done it that way. I'm trying to. F- like I'm trying to look up like a website up or something. No, it, actually, wipe it off on the edge. It's like yeah. uh, she holds. She just like stands above the canvas and then she moves it around. And it drips That's into disgusting. <laughs> this is just Trump. absolutely disgusting. Dan, I don't know how this works. I'm not an art major. I don't know. I'm man. telling you that I would not want to be messing around with my menstrual blood, though. It's pretty gross. Because yeah, it's not just blood. It's other things, probably. It's like the it's like lining of your uterus. different fluids and shit, right? Yeah, it's not just blood. Yeah, yeah that's, you lose I mean, hormones, that's what makes it awesome. You lose blood. You lose, like, the thick stuff. Did you say that's what your... makes it awesome? The painting. Because it's so <laughs> gross. And it's a picture of Donald Trump. Some women have blood clots that come out like the size of their fists. That's fucking nasty. It's like squishy. Ew. I'm, I cannot get my phone to work right now. Have you guys seen that Vine of Donald Trump? And um, it's like me trying to figure out the new Snapchat update. Yeah. yeah. He's doing like the eye, I've I've seen it. eyebrows that's raise. That's from that G, the, just the debate, debate, yeah. Yeah. Because that's all I see well, is this fucking... Because I saw it before I saw any of the... Um, snapchat updates or whatever because i thought i updated it but i forgot to change my billing info so it never updated and i was like i don't know what they're referencing yeah i i've seen a couple of them with different captions that's I see. I saw oh some or, of the, ooh, uh, i found a i found snapchat a snapchat stuff it. they just released i saw it for like a oh, wow, second and then i was like good. i wasn't too impressed and i was like uh, i like the scary guy one. i was like uh it's a facial recognition thing this will be funny for like an hour and then it's just going to be boring again. It doesn't switch up Snapchat at all. This is the painting. Solid. Well, yeah. It's pretty I'd good. Say it starts out as liquid though. Well, no shit it does. It's cuz I said solid, Dan. Oh, I'm like what? He's the fuck really is missing saying? the jokes. Oh, mittens. So, it's a mittens pretty good representation of him. Mins I played Christmas present the other day. What's that mean? Uh, she gets wrapped up like a Christmas present <laughs> and then has to try to escape. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you alone. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, Casey didn't know what it was either. So when I was explaining it to Casey, I actually did a like a show how it worked type deal. She got got out of that one a little bit faster because it was a much more simple she, puzzle. She's so cute. Right, Mittens? I'd like to say that Mitten the cat is one of the worst cats I've ever met. Because Justine's mom's cats are way cooler than that cat. I tried taking Loki, but my mom didn't want to separate them. They're cooler. They're way better cats. 
Don't be so mean. She's right there. She doesn't understand me. So Don't guys, listen. guys, after like twenty three years of Harry Potter material, J.K. Rowling has come out recently. Twenty three years to has state it, it's not been that, that Voldemort it's is actually pronounced long. Voldemort. So the T is silent. Silent T. Man, maybe she should. She should have written like a. a Why chart wouldn't she in just put an E book. instead of a T then? I just don't see why you don't tell someone. Yeah. They're like, like, okay, so this Voldemort character, she's like, no, it's Voldemort. It just never happened? Like, did that never come up? I don't, she should have put a, a, a guide at the beginning of the book. You know what probably happened was when Yeah, so I pronounce Hermione correctly when I read the books, too? Yeah. Hermione? Um, maybe it was like she wrote it, and then she was like nervous for the movie writers to get mad at her and so she never corrected them i doubt that i don't i think she just made it up she did put and some freaky making, names in there though she's just making shit up now like is hermione well, even like yeah. a popular no british name like i don't know it's a nice name i like it though. pull Here's that out thing. of your ass oh. i feel like she's no offense trying to stay relevant now that all the movies are done well like, she's she's writing like a stage play i was gonna say i don't think that she really needs to stay relevant any longer i think she's then pretty why, much reached her mark. why even come out with it right yeah i don't know it's probably something that just happened in passing she's like oh i intended it for it to be voldemort but and everyone's like gasp we've been saying it wrong the whole time i, I just mean i don't know why you don't come out with that seems like something you should tell people before you make the movie it's a kind of important you know. It's like if Hermione had been pronounced incorrectly all this year. Don't worry, we'll find that out like next month. Yeah. I remember trying to p- pronounce all those names when I first started reading. Like Hermione and Voldemort. <laughs> I can't laugh. I, uh, when my mom and I would read the books, we called Sirius Black, we called him Cyrus. Because that's what it looks like. There's two eyes. I don't know. It's true. You can't know. So when the movies came out, I was like, huh. Seriously? Didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't. You just been. Dan's like, wrong. I just ignore all the vowels. I'm just. Sometimes you're just you reading a, too fast. And then like. Yeah. I mean, that's when uh, we started playing RuneScape. Like, you had like. Oh, all I've, got, I've got news about that, Troy. If you want to talk about that shit. Like the names? Oh, no, about RuneScape. Because okay. I'm always say, up to date on RuneScape, Troy. <laughs> I was going to say, me. There's, the, uh, there's the one island with the volcano. And oh, yeah. half the time, I wouldn't even make it. It, it didn't even make sense in my head. I'd just be it like, doesn't make, oh, that's Karajama. Or like. Or Karajama or something. Each, like I literally sat down. Every time I've looked at that map, I'm like, it's pronounced differently now, isn't it? <laughs> like they've been switching it up. Yeah, I never knew. So, Dan, what's happening with RuneScape 3? <laughs> um, so, here's... I, Keep it short, because I have some stuff to talk about. I was on Reddit, All right. and I was like, man, I don't want to look at any of this bullshit. So, I looked at the trending subreddits, because yeah. sometimes those are interesting. And there was one called Darkscape, and I was like, sounds like RuneScape. I'm going to click on it. So, I clicked on it, and I was reading it, and I was like, it was like... Uh, open world emma like pvp mmo based off runescape and i was like hmm so i googled it and it's made by jagex like they kept the secret and they just like put it out like it's a it's a brand new well it's not brand new like but it's kind of like they took runescape the base mechanics of it are like essentially the same. Yeah. But they like stripped it down. So it it's kind of like there's only there's I don't know, maybe like twenty quests right now. And you can do like PvP anywhere, depending on your level. And everybody started over at level like one. So the only bad thing about it that I've seen is well first off you have to start over which always sucks because i've done a lot of the stuff but you can do if i understand correctly i didn't get a chance to play yet you can do everything 
that a member can do without paying anything. The only thing you get with a membership bonus for this new uh, game type, it's not game, this new game, is that members like level up faster, which kind of sucks. It's because kind of, it's like a pay to win. Yeah. But scenario. if you don't, if you just want to play the game, you know, without, if you just want to play the game and not pay for it, I guess this is a good way to do it. So I'm going to be playing that soon. And seeing I mean, if, yeah, it, if there's like 20 quests, it yeah. sounds like it, I might get into it a little bit just because. Because everybody, and it came out like two days ago, I think. So everybody's still like, I mean, if you're a member, you're probably like a pretty decent level already yeah. if you play because it's super easy to level up. But I haven't played in years. But I'm like, I'm pretty interested because I don't play the game anymore because I don't want to pay for membership. And the game is not fun. It's too grindy. Yeah. That's. That's why when we started those like new accounts, like when like it was a few of us and it was like two or three years ago, I didn't yeah. have time. I had school stuff yeah. to do. That's why I just, I figured out how to do a bot at that time. And I was like, so I can keep my account going and stay on par with other people who don't have classes and homework and shit. Yeah. I'll probably then, like that got banned. So I was like, you know what? I don't really need to play RuneScape. I'll at least play for like a little bit and see like, because if I can do all the member skills without having to pay for it, because that that's what most of the skills yeah. that are fun are member skills. So yeah. if I can, I was like doing play it, the quest too. Yeah, like, it was just not the same thing over and over. Yeah, mini games are the same. Uh, I mean, skills yeah. are the same. I'll probably play it like less obsessively because I don't have time to play it obsessively. Yeah, God, no, but uh, um, I think it. I think it sounds like fun to like play. You I'll know, probably just try casually try to do like all the quests. If there's only twenty, that's really easy to do. Yeah, but I mean, part. depending on what what the, the requirements level, are. Yeah, but and I know they're going to be adding new stuff into it and whatever. So that's but cool. It sounds like a good time to get in now, so you can have a good basis when further content yeah. was released. Yeah, and like, it's it's if always I still easy had my to old account on RuneScape. I would definitely still play RuneScape a bit yeah. more. Yeah, just because it's yeah. But whatever. Anyway, so if you uh, cared at all about that segment, now you know a little more about RuneScape, the best game ever made. So, Justine, you want to talk about what you want to talk about? Or should we talk about Teradology? Which one do you think should go? Um, well, I was going to bridge off of J.K. Rowling. Oh, okay. You guys just kind of... <laughs> Sorry, I took a... Rolled with it. Dan hooked it first. It's all good. So... Let's take a U-turn back to J.K. Rowling, as Dan puts it. All right. Um, I was reading this morning on... You guys need a map. This is too many U-turns. I know. Um, I was reading this morning on mm. Discovery News um, that they have an invisibility cloak, like a real one, <clears throat> and it basically, uh, like, turns right things into mirrors. And, like, they have... Um, they've developed, like, an older one. Or, like, in the past, they developed one that was, like, um, only worked at a certain angle. So, like, if I was wearing one only, you could see that, like, you would be able to see me. Troy wouldn't be able to see me. Mm -hmm. So, But uh, this this new one, I'm not completely sure how it works, but... Magic. They've kind of been able to start eliminating shadows casted, like, if you illuminate something. You know what I mean? Huh. So, because as someone was saying... Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, this is all cool. Like, one of the developers was like, this is really cool, but there's so many flaws still. And, like, you can't... It even references Harry Potter in there. It's like, uh, if Harry were to use the invis this invis invisibility cloak, like, he couldn't move. Because <laughs> once you start to move, it kind of, like... It's like a chameleon. Like, it adapts to what's yeah. behind you. And they were saying that they're developing it so that um, it can make it look like you're seeing something completely different. So they used the example, if you threw it over a tank, you can make it look like a bicycle. That's crazy. So it's not just an invisibility cloak. It's an augmented reality. Like, it's at like this camouflage. Point, at this point, it's just an invisibility cloak, but oh, okay. they're working on um, <clears throat> other uses for it. Right now, um, they've only thrown it over like small objects mm -hmm. that don't move. But it's got like all these... It's like... It uses so, light scattering and 
So it does bend the light particles around the object, mm-hmm. which is like a lot of the tech. I mean, it's what the technology is based off. I mean, I saw, I think it was like, I think like a year or two ago, they had like a five mirror system that you could put like a, an object in between and it would, you couldn't, like, you could just see straight through. It was like a mm-hmm. telescope type deal on like a, ta- like a open telescope on a table. And like, you could look through the lens mm-hmm. and you could see straight through because of the way the mirrors, the concave and the convex worked. Just like reflected the light a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like precisely. The That's thing is like, it's so thin. Um, it says like the material that they use, um, it says they constructed a thin film of 50 nanome- nanometer thick layer of magnesium fluoride. But it says that, um, and it also has a pattern of tiny brick-shaped gold antennas, each 30 nanometers thick. And it says, like, for a comparison, each piece of human hair is about 100,000 nanometers. Wow. So, like, s- that's how thin the material is. Damn. So I got a question. You're at this point where you have this cloth that turns things invisible, but you can't move. You got two options. Do you make it augment reality so you see something different? Or do you start developing one that can be used for movement? Well, I would think... You only get to choose one one of the paths. Like, you you get... You're like, here's a billion, zillion dollars, but you can only work on the one idea. I do invisibility. Also, no, I, but we have invisibility. It's just whether or not you can yeah, move with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. full, like full, full on full movement. Yeah. So you're going the movement. Yeah. I was like, we I have invisibility. More... That's not an option. The only thing I can picture the basis. with the like changing what it looks like is like, uh, you know, on Nickelodeon when like Drake and Josh, one of them would go spy on someone so they'd hide behind a plant and like run around with the plant <laughs> in front of them. Like that's what I'm picturing. Like it'll just look like a, a bicycle can not you... pedaling, just moving. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be funny. bring this up a level. Can you imagine one of them full body like spandex suits made out of this material? You be could sweet. be anything for Halloween. That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty badass. Yeah, they you could to, be Frank from Always Sunny. They need to step this sat up. Sat on your knees all night. Yeah, they need to step up production on this. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I want one. It's how much, really cool. How much is it gonna cost? Um, I don't. I haven't seen a price yet. Um, I doubt they'll sell this for a long time. <laughs> commercially? It's, it's working. Commercially, I don't. I'm sure it's for the military. I want to say yeah, that it's being developed it all by, that way. like in Asia. But that could just me being racist because of the names of the people that are working on it. Hmm. You're probably racist. Probably. Um, material, I mean, no, there's nothing about selling it. Yeah, I so think this it would kind be of material has been fabricated before, and the next step way. would be to make it a lot, make a lot of it at industrial scales. Yeah, turning the antennas to different wavelengths of light. Huh. Pretty insane. That's really cool. I thought so. <clears throat> I don't know how that would work. Oh gosh. So Justine. What? You've been out of it for most of this week, right? Yeah. So. You don't know the amazing breakthroughs that we've had with math this week. No, I do not. It's pretty impressive. Dan's actually going to allow me to talk about math on this podcast yeah. instead of cutting it all out. Yes. Terrence Howard, who is, I guess, some actor on Empire, yeah. has invented a universal math system, so one times one equals two. Okay. And he's calling it teriology. And um, it's absolutely insane. It's abs. It's the most convoluted thing I've ever like a new heard word. of. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here, uh, okay, Justine, you're good at math, right? I'm gonna read you this quote from uh, Terry Howard. If one times one equals <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> one times one. It's just, it's well, like I mean, a I guess person. if you put a stupid accent on yeah. it, I mean, it, if one times one equals that's a really good stupid yeah. person impression. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't actually put one on there. It's if one funny. times one equals one, that means that two is of no value because one times itself has no effect. 
one times one equals two because the square root of four is two. So what's the square root of two? Should be one, but we're told it's two, and that cannot be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm literally speechless. It's just... <laughs> Sounds like something we would argue with Mr. Downey about. He spends 17 hours a day working on this universal Supposedly. math system <laughs> to, to prove that one times one equals two. And that's doesn't. what and that's what he got from it. I like the last line, like the or like the last two lines. Like, so what's the square root, root of two? Should be one, but we're told it's two, and that cannot be. This, neither of those are true. The, what is the square root of two? It's like one point seven eight something because it's a square root. It like is a number w- times itself. itself. I was gonna say a square to root, root squ- of four definitely is two, but what's the square root of two? It's it's so what one point seven eight. Well, it's like yeah, that number times itself equals two. Yeah, so he doesn't understand <laughs> anything about math. He doesn't understand what multiplication is or square roots, but he's trying to tell us that what we've learned and what has been proven Fund- is wrong. He was he went to college. He was going to college for chemical engineering. Oh my god. Until he started getting into arguments about in with his professors about this. Literally uh, this th- sounds like something that douchebag in your science class would argue with the teacher the whole time about. Like, can't you just see that? Yeah. Like this guy would be the guy that I have to go like punch in the face after class because he just wasted my time. Yeah, like 1 times 1 if you have one one that equals one it doesn't one, equal two, two you have two if you have one three then you have three that's it i like how he says if one times one equals one then two is of no value that doesn't make any sense <laughs> when did two get into this because this is true does not mean this is also true that's just the most absurd thing in the world Okay, here's a, here's another. Justin's good one. trying not to laugh because it hurts. <laughs> so like, and he's got like all these patents and stuff, I guess, for this shit. You can, so I don't think you can patent math. Can you patent math? Yeah, he's all like. You could name got, the like, style and probably patent it. He's yeah, got true. a patented okay. patented system of objects that Howard says backs up his theories, including one times one equals two, are loosely described as pieces of plastic of various shapes and forms. Held together by copper wire or magnets. Does he also wear tinfoil on his head <laughs> to connect with the mothership? Here, here's another quote. <laughs> Since I was a child of three or four, I was always wondering, you know, why does a bubble take the shape of a ball? Why not a triangle or a square? I figured it out. If Pythagoras was here to see it, he would lose his mind. <laughs> Einstein, too. Tesla. Because he would blow their mind with your stupidity. <laughs> Who hired this guy? I love that, <laughs> that explanation of, of what a bubble is and can't, like, why. First off, uh, <laughs> the bubble takes the shape of a ball. <laughs> he doesn't know what the three-dimensional circle is. <laughs> well, in teriology, a sphere is just called a ball. It's so I'm sorry. <laughs> Get my teriology definitions mixed. <laughs> this is so. This or, is insane. Or why not a triangle or a square? Why isn't the bubble two-dimensional shapes? I don't know. Oh my god. Like a triangle in three dimensions can be a either a cone or a pyramid. Like, yeah, pyramid or a prism. Viewed at one angle. Okay, so just for the sake of what he's trying to prove, is there a way if you had... So most bubble machines are circles. If you had a square one, would it make a cube or not? No. I feel like it would. No, because it blows out. Like if you... If you had a square little wand full of bubble solution, oh, the, and you blow it out, it would the round air at the end. Would round out. Okay, yeah. Okay, I was just like, just, just for the sake of square anything. Bubbles. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that makes sense. Square bubble That's maker. Just, oh my God. How to make square bubbles? Oh, there's oh. a YouTube video. Yeah, it makes sense if you're using like 
Okay, but no, it's it's stupid. It's like you have like Q made out of Q-tips. Oh yeah, this one uses straws. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah. So you, you can do it. It's just you need an assisted tool. Yeah. So Bu- if they, bubbles are just naturally balls then. Yeah. So if they. Yes. Well, uh, everybody. Maybe. Sponsored by Domino's. It's Marcos. Um, Marcos. <laughs> sorry. Uh. Yeah. So, what? The comments on this section happening? are so funny. What is this? Say? Bubble square bubble. Someone says, Alex, a science project doesn't always work the way you hope it will. The most important part is, of a project is making observations and asking more questions. And the next guy just says, Hi. What the Hi. fuck? <laughs> okay, let's watch this video. See, real quick. it's just like a cube. Yeah, but look, he's blowing it square. It's no. Rec- it, it, it attaches to the inside. Is it? Is that what's happening? No, he was just blowing. No, he's blowing air into the inside of, like, the bubble. Uh, yeah, see, see it's like, already oh. attached to the sides of so the they're cube. Using, so they, like, dip it in first? So, yeah, I yeah. guess they get all the sides coated, and then they put an actual bubble in there, and then that makes it a square, and then oh. they blow air into it, and as it expands, since it's connected to the other okay. bubble strands, it becomes a square. Yeah, but it's still a very spherical square. Like it's yeah. not. It's like a rounded square. Isn't that just have to do with like uh, surface tension it's or like something? All the edges are built. Yeah. So basically. if you if you'd pull on the edges, yeah, you know. It's kind of like when you fill, you can fill a up a shape. penny with like a ton of water drops way above the penny. Yeah. I like the idea that he's been thinking about this since he was like three or four and he just never Googled what makes, yeah. a, what makes, you know, it's probably, I'm, it's probably his searches. What makes a bubble a ball doesn't probably come back the same as what makes a bubble a sphere. So the thing is like, even, even when I, when you said, why isn't it a square? I was like, well, Yeah. If you change it, would it be a square? But I asked someone. Like, I wasn't, like, I didn't just leave it inside my head for 35 years and not ask anyone about it. If you if you think, if you say it out loud and you think about it, it's it makes complete sense. And he just didn't do that. Well, I, don't, the, I don't understand. I get, like, when you're famous, you can have, like, all these yes men because you're throwing money at them. He wasn't always famous. Someone had to explain it. Like, yeah, if he just never brought it up, no one would have ever explained to him, Terry, look, Ter- Terrence, bubbles are just round. That's oh, how that. God works. Or something like that. Yeah. I, like, that's how God works. That's a good explanation, Troy. <laughs> so, stre- okay, here's... God, why are bubbles round? The stretch round? will make the shape, find the shape... The stretch will make the shape, find the shape of the smallest perimeter. In this case, it is a circle, just like the sphere or ball shape for the whole soap bubble. So we see that bubbles around because this is the shape that has the smallest surface area for a particular amount of air trapped inside. Yeah. Yeah. So perfectly reasonable explanation. Scientific explanation. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the machine, right? What machine? The machine, whatever he's got patented... To oh. ma- that's gonna prove the, <laughs> the <laughs> copper wire and magnets that he has. So, oh, dear God. what the thi- what another, just another crazy thing about this is that uh, he just like this is like just rooted in some insane conspiracy <laughs> theory that he believes that he and everyone is being tricked by somebody who has for some reason thinks it's important to trick people into thinking that math is wrong and physics i don't, bubbles are wrong like that's what made him think it's, about it he's like someone everything is we, not yeah everything we've been learning is wrong what he does you have to be pretty insane he does also that. say that this is going to be the last century any of our kids are ever told that one times one is equal to one. He believes in it that much that by 2100, we will be learning one times one equals two. He doesn't even like, 
so by his logic, one times one equals two. Well, as far as I can, as far as I can, it's, like understand, two times one should equals should equal three by his logic, because yeah. he's just adding. It, it's just, I mean, multiplication is just like it's addition, just over and over again. Yeah, right? and it's then five plus five plus five is equal to yeah. five times three. Well, well wait a second. It's if, not a physical if it's just thing. addition over and over again, then it's like if it was two times one, you'd say you have one set of twos yeah so you would just write down the number two because yeah. it would be two plus nothing mm-hmm. so one set of one would just be a one yeah so he doesn't realize he has he some gets, like, special a- rule for one times one one times one is the is some exception in his mind which well, doesn't make like sense he thinks the square root of like a square <laughs> root is a half yeah like no one explained to him it's not what that is plus that doesn't work for any other square root it only works for four. This is like, stupid as like shit. He's like, like he thought square root of four is two. So I'm going to work backwards from there. That's the, that's the farthest he got. He's like, like square root of 16. Square that's root of four. two. It's a don't fourth. know. Square root of four, two. All right. So the square root of two should be one. Got it. And he didn't go any farther. He didn't say square he root would, of eight. He was just so stubborn whatever. when he learned the first thing. Cute and he, root. Came up with this idea that this is like, here's the thing. He got to college. I don't know what school, like, how, you you can't even get through, like, basic mathematics without learning you learn how multiplication. You learned like, sixth grade. Yeah. Shit, no, you learn like, multiplication well, multiple, like, yeah, in first grade. Like, square roots you learn square, in, like, yeah. sixth grade. Or at least, like, exponentials. I feel like I learned square roots in third grade. Mm, I don't think you. I don't think they're like phrased that way. No, no I don't think you learn them in. I'm you have pretty to learn, sure I did because we I played with flashcards. So. I, I really don't think so. I really think I did. Are you sure it wasn't like a division bracket? Because yeah. the only thing kind of looked the same. You then sh- it was fourth grade because I was still down in that end of the building. Uh, maybe, but. That's Ooh, pretty advanced. No, I'm just saying. That's We're pretty advanced. We're learning parentheses, Damn, just exponents. I'm smarter than you at math. It's PEMDAS. Doesn't mean you have to put me down. PEMDAS. I'm just saying that seems a little absurd. Let me call up my teacher. I'd like to hear it. I just... It's like... I can't imagine... Like... You, like, I learned multiplication in first grade. Or, not first, third grade. And everything... Everything in math is like harder math is based off of the simple math. You have to know the simple stuff. That's how everything works. How his his reading and writing skills must have been phenomenal f- for him to have made it all the way through high school and like still pass. Are you kidding me? Have you ever heard of the like preschool to prison pipeline where they just push people through because they just want them out of their schools? Are you saying Darren Tyler is a criminal? No, I'm saying it's really easy to pass high school. That's true. I'm when you saying, take the OJ or the OGT, when he's getting like z- zeros in all his classes because <laughs> fucking one times one keeps coming up and he keeps putting two. I mean, it's like to, his whole final. Honestly, it's probably. Can you imagine? I feel him? like it's something that is like he probably didn't actually think of this stuff when he was younger. He's probably that crazy. Like he. There's something that triggered some mental illness inside of his brain that made him think these things and then made him have to like think up reasons of why he's trying to prove it because he's, I don't know. I don't, you can't, I don't think you can get through life in, in like the way he apparently has by actually thinking this stuff your whole life. Yeah, plus he's like, yeah, I'm going to go chemical engineer when I'm in college. Like, Yeah, so he knew how to do math. Like, I guess. He knew about science. But like, so, But then you need variables and stuff like that. Yeah, so how that's what I'm saying. How do the letters not confuse him that's what I'm at saying. this level? I'm saying he's like, I don't it's understand. Probably, it's probably, X- like, it really, he probably never thought this stuff as a, like, He's he like, couldn't have. He's like, X times X. That's 2X. He, 
He just <laughs> he, you can't get through. So you couldn't get exes. through. I don't think you could get through by thinking this stuff. Unless it's unless he seriously has buried it this long, which I don't think you do. I think he like has a delusion, some sort of delusion that makes him think that he's always thought this and he's always been right. It obviously spawns as to why the bubble is not a ball or why the bubble is always a ball, Dan. So far, that's the earliest childhood memory we can get out of Terrence Howard. That may or may not. He's not a a reliable source. If we were reading him as a character (laughs) in literature, he's not a reliable, like, character. So I don't believe what he's saying here. I, it's hilarious. I think he's re- it's, it's it's unreal that someone could think these things. I don't know how the show's doing that he's on, but if it's doing good, he is like there's really no reason for this to come yeah. out. It, you don't need a publicity stunt, but like, no, and that it, just means that he actually believes in it. He he fully believes in this. Well, I can't imagine devoting 17 hours of my day. To reinvent math and I mean, make my own characters and own system of universal understanding. I'll leave it at this. If if he actually somehow publishes a book or anything, I'm buying it and reading it. Oh, and I am I, definitely reading trying it. Trying to figure out where where he came from. And I also want these copper like magnet things that will help me prove that one times one is two. Well, Daniel. So got- I'll buy the I'll buy the book deal. When you got one of figure something it out. and you times it by one of something else, you got two somethings, Dan. True. Multiplication isn't an, an abstract representation of one group of things. No, it's two groups of things, <laughs> and you have to conserve matter, Dan. You can never just have <laughs> one thing. Well. Is that all we got, Dan? I don't know. I'm just... A little bit flabbergasted. <laughs> you just can't handle. We could we can talk about one more topic if we want to. Oh, I, if anybody, you got more topics, Justine? I mean, I have another one pulled up. Would you like to talk about it? What is it? Is sure. it the Google car? Or something? Um, no, I just heard about that on the radio. Um, this one so super interesting is I read about the British scientists are trying to edit human DNA like in the embryos. It's going to be like we, Gull- uh, Gattaca. Can we do that at um, a certain level right now? Mm, yeah, kind of. They are using... Um, they. Uh, I'm sorry. I really can't think right now. They're using like the cells that were left behind um, in fertility clinics. Okay. And um, like not having an abortion, but like donating. Yeah. It's like Petri dish babies. It's, yeah. And a lot of people are upset because they're saying like... It's going to create designer babies and introduce new diseases and all this stuff. But then the scientists... As, ev- as if everything we've ever done in science. Yeah. Vaccines, you know. But, the, but then the International Society oh, for Stem Cell Research says that it uh, wouldn't... It says it wouldn't preclude gene editing of the human embryos for research to address critical questions in embryology. So whatever that means. So are they trying to like use this to, so they're going to edit a uh, certain DNA and then see how it affects them. And it's not like for research purposes. Is that like they're, are they trying to like fix things or like, what's the deal here? They just keep using the term edit. Like it says, um, some Chinese scientists have already done it before. I'm gonna, editing the DNA. I was gonna say, can't isn't it possible to choose like the color of your baby's eyes right now? I thought so. I think they. I feel like they know how to do it. Yeah, but there's maybe a big there's a big ethical it. debate on that right now. I could have sworn like yeah, yes, we can do it, but it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Yeah. and I mean, it's kind of a huge risk. It's like if if there's already stuff there that's not going to be used, like these cells are already there that aren't going to be used. Why, what's the big deal about like using them for research? Yeah. Like they're, they're going to go away no matter what. Like oh. I don't get it. Um, it's talking about, have you guys ever heard about that CRISPR technology? No. Um, I was listening to the NPR, like radio lab <laughs> podcast and, uh, they were talking about back when they like completed the human genome 
and talking about how they can use this new technology called CRISPR to like eliminate diseases in future generations. Mm -hmm. It's pretty badass. You should look it up sometime. But they reference it in here because people are debating the ethics of it. I mean, I don't know. It's going to, here's the deal. It's going to start some kind of race war between the normies and the designers. <laughs> That's like Gattaca. Just the uglies. Have yeah. you seen Gattaca, the Gattaca. movie? Gattaca. I don't think you know what that movie's about. Yeah. yeah. But Have uh, you seen Gattaca, no, Justine? I was thinking of like the uglies that's like, and the pretties. Oh, yeah, that's like know. a lot of dystopian society yeah. where you got like the rich and beautiful versus the, the poor and ugly. Yeah, it's like the natural versus the like... Unnatural. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's happening, you guys. It's happening. I guess. I mean, I mean, if they're just if they're using it to like cure diseases and stuff, then. But the I thing about curing good. those diseases is that you're just creating more diseases. Are we True. though? Yes, I, because the viruses adapt. Yeah. Bacteria adapts. But what if we just can eliminate it all? You can't get rid of bacteria. Your I mean, body you needs can, it. If you can eliminate genetic like disorders that are like actually they're caused by certain parts of your genome, then it would make sense. Because yeah, they. I mean, they but you'd have to make sure that what you change doesn't bring new problems. But That's what's what if hard. we could adapt our bodies to, I guess, like we already take a disease and then we fight through it and then like we're good. Like we have a new cold every like year or a couple mm-hmm. of months. What if it was like that, but with just every disease, like we just became super. And like, no one would die. <laughs> We might die of, like, old age and stuff. Yeah. I mean, well, maybe. There'd be some ways to die, I suppose. But think about why you die of old age. It's just your cells breaking down. Which, they're yeah. actually, they are working on that to be able to rejuvenate new cells. Well, that's because they, um, we were talking about that in biology last year. Like, they know there's, like, a certain coil inside of the cell that tells you. It's like yeah. a light, not lysosome, but liposine or something like that. And that, so, like, you can look in your cells and, like, see how long you're going to live. But you can... That's why they say to drink like um, red wine because the skin of the grapes makes that coil longer. Mm-hmm. So you can actually live longer. Can I just eat the skin of the grapes? Probably. Huh? Probably but generally, thing. you're going to get a better response if you tell people to drink red wine every day than yes. if you're just going to tell them to eat, eat grapes, grapes every day. Yeah. I wish people they sold like grapes, grapes in smaller packages, though. Because I like grapes, but I'm not yeah, going like to eat little, a whole pack. Like a little Here's container. I would eat grapes more if I had a woman standing in a toga feeding them to me. <laughs> like, oh full God. down on the vine. What's that wrong with make... men in togas, Troy? I just <laughs> like a woman's... pretty good inside. I just like a woman's company. It's not sexual. Oh, it's looking like... at me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but... I wish G- I want Gattaca to come true. That movie's amazing. I mean, that's a really I've good never movie. Never heard of that movie. Okay, Justine, I'm, here's what the movie's about. I'm gonna okay. explain it to you because I've seen it like ten times throughout my like oh my God, school stop career. Gattaca. It's so good. It's a really good movie. Okay, so there's um, this guy who, in this world, there are nor- people who have been born as normal like babies, and there's people who have been genetically modified. To have better traits and obviously the ones that have better traits are like the high like they can get better jobs and all this stuff so there's a guy who wants to be um like an astronaut and he works at the astronaut um like training place and whatever and he has to fake his way since he was born natural so he so they like test you for diseases and stuff. And if you have like certain conditions that haven't been fixed through this genetic modification before you were born, you can't do certain things. So the, the movie's about him faking. He like takes on someone else's identity who has perfect, um, you know, genes and everything. And it's like the story of that. And it's really good. You should watch it. Does it have Jodie Foster in it? Mm. Or is it an old movie? No. It's from the 90s, I think. Oh, I don't not think it has Jodie Foster. No, there's a more recent one, like two years ago. Oh. Some sort of space movie like that. Would you guys Would you guys take the offer to be, like, immortal? 
If they had, like, the science, they like, you can live forever. Only if everyone else in my life lived forever. I don't know. See? But I feel like I want to get to <clears throat> heaven eventually, so... Would I get, um... Do I get to pick which stage of life I, like, get to continue living in? Or do you just keep getting older and older and more shrivelly up? We just assume you stay with whatever... Age, so like science comes tomorrow, out. I'm like, I never want to get older. Yeah. All right, I'm good here. Maybe like wait till you're like 25. Actually, yeah, I'd wait till I was like 25, 26. I don't know. I don't think I'd like that. Because then you never like... I mean, you can still like get muscle and stuff like that. Can you still die? Get money. Or can get you, money. you... Do you, you stop aging st- or do you It's like a die? stop aging process. Well, yeah. Your life just becomes forever as long as you don't jump off a building or so i can die yeah but that it would just guarantee that you had to die by accident or hit me okay do i or purpose okay so i can't die by aging but can i get diseases still no that's kind of what this does okay so it makes me the perfect human the perfect healthy human well it it takes my risks away basically any yeah that sounds pretty good i might do that like any if i can still quote, like unquote, kill myself risk. if i get bored yeah well yeah let's just all become vampires because Here, here's forever. the thing with immortality but then you can't die you always you, you should always die. have an out you should never just want to be like immortal because you don't want to be the last that'd immortal be alive that'd be pretty boring after a while i think well, yeah, like after maybe like 200 think years think of all the things you could do I think after 200 could, years, I'd be like, I mean, all right, I'm, I've had enough. Say you're the only person now. that are immortal and it's like a blanket immortality, like you can't die. Then you'd get like the sun would grow, people, like humanity would just die out. And then you'd just be like left alone. Yeah. Like, that's why not even the sun be... could kill you. You just have to like take it and then drift in space. That's why I said it had to be like everyone in my life it had to be immortal too. It's yeah. basically, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I think incentive. I could only do that if I had like an out. Yeah. I think, but what I just thought of was if you never have to worry about dying and stuff, and like you're you just live forever, like I feel like that would just be too much to resist. Like I don't know if I could ever just like be like hey, I'm done. Because like you could always do something else. Like you oh like no matter what, you could always do something else. So yeah. like why would I ever want to like kill myself? Yeah, that's the point. But then you get in the problem like then yeah, I'm li- I mean, then I'm like living for I don't know. You know you don't know what the future holds. I don't know what the future holds. Maybe there's crazy. something in the future like where you're just like I wanna kill myself. Well, to be fair, it, that's not the only out. You could get hit by a car that's true you could the accident there could be a war a bomb could just be dropped on you yeah you're not that's like true Superman. on you just you yeah yeah be interesting be kind of cool wonder what would happen to our retirement funds there wouldn't be any. <laughs> yeah you'd have to work forever you'd probably. literally have to work forever would we though i mean that's what happens yes. anyway right well if you wanted to just survive in any way if if everyone well it depends who has access to this yeah if See, everyone, everyone does then if everyone had, who wanted the option got the option and that, like more like we just get more populated i think people would just i mean there'd be a lot of people still working but i think there'd also be a good number of people just existing in life we'd like, have to outs- definitely like, go more socialist than we are now you'd have well i'm just saying like there just there would just be people who don't work but somehow get a lot, like around and like live life. I'm like there is now. It's just yeah. There would be just a lot more of that. I feel like yeah. So then you'd have to compensate for that. Yeah. Which I don't think you can sustain. <laughs> we find a way. We always do. Mm, I don't know. Greece hasn't find, found a way yet. <laughs> no one works there. And it screwed them over twice. They're bankrupt again. I don't know. That might not be true, but I don't know anything about that. As a whole, Dan, we find a way. True. 
I mean, we could still keep it. Our, I mean, our whole economy would change I mean, if everyone could live forever. When you have forever. a pancreas like Greece, what do you do? You just get rid of it when it's not work- useful. <laughs> you just ask somebody for a new one, and they give it to you. Exactly. If you join their uh, club called the EU. I don't know. I think humanity will find a way if that were to be the scenario. Yeah. I'm sure. We will always not exist. That didn't make sense. Not, I forgot. We not. will always exist. We always not, not exist. Why don't you just say, oh, we would always exist? I don't know, man. Double tildes. <laughs> That's not the right terminology. Yes, it is, Dan. Tilda? Yeah, tilde. That's a squiggly line, isn't it? Yeah, but that's not the right word. Yeah. In, in logic, the tilde signifies a no or a not. Oh, I'm like, what? Yeah. So if something's... I thought you were trying to say double negative. It is a double negative. Yeah. Yeah. But you Wait, said, said double, you said double tilde, I said double and I thought tilde. you meant double negative, and I was like, Troy, same that's thing. I thought you meant deviled eggs. Now I, Let's get now some now I understand eggs. what you mean. All right, we're going to go get some double eggs. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this was episode nine. Links are in the description. I love you. We're on iTunes. We're on YouTube. We still are. Still existing. Everyone still hates Dan. We'll be back next week with another riveting edition of Here's the Deal. Google Cars.